What is the best way to track the SEO results? What is the best way to see if the SEO specialist or agency is doing his or her job? Of course, you can look in Google Analytics and see if your Google organic traffic is increasing, decreasing, and so on and so forth. And of course, you can specialize in SEO and find out a lot of things and so on. And what everyone is asking nowadays is exactly which is the best tool in order to track the search appearance and also the search traffic that you get for a certain keyword. What exactly is your performance for a certain keyword? Are you growing? Are you appearing in more and more search results or not. No matter which tool you decide to uh, use, whether it's Ahrefs or it's SEMrush or is a SEO monitor app or so on, personally I like all of them. I also use Screaming Frog and all of them give you amazing insights. But what always baffles me is why we are not first of all using the free tool that Google is giving us, especially for this SEO uh, tracking. That is Google Search Console and it's a free tool that is unfortunately a bit technical and we all run away from it. However, there is some simple report that you can look at in Google Search Console where you can track exactly what are the top keywords that are bringing you Google organic traffic and exactly how your average position increased or decreased for these keywords. Uh, if you go in Google Search Console, here underneath the overview, you have the performance report. You click on it and here you need to choose the period you are looking at. It's not so intuitively placed, it's placed here and you can choose, for example, the last 16 months. What you will see here on the graphic is exactly how the total number of clicks that you got from Google Organic increased or decreased here with the blue line correlated with this metric here. And you can see how the number of total impressions you got in Google Organic increased or decreased. You can see it here trending. If you want to see also the average click-through rate and the average position, you have to click on these metrics. And the graphic gets really crowded, as you can see. But what is more, below, you can see what were the top queries that brought you, the top search queries that brought you traffic from Google Organic. And for each of them, you can see the number of clicks, the number of impressions, the CTR and the position. The position is an average, I know everyone is asking that. The position is an average because you know that nowadays Google search results are personalized for each one of us. For example, I will get some results and when you are logged into your Google Chrome profile may get different results if we are looking for coffee shops because I will get results from Bucharest somewhere near me and you will get results near you. Google also takes into account our search history and they see what websites we were on and so on and the websites we frequently visit and click on show uh, much higher in the search results that we get. And that's why the position is an average because for someone you were on the fourth position, for example, and for somebody else on the third. And there was an average and you got to a 3.1 average position in search results. What we can look at here, for example, if we are interested in a certain query, for example, we can see how we trended on that query and we can see whether our position for that particular query increased or decreased. We can also separate how we are showing in YouTube searches, in image searches and web searches if we are interested in seeing the results for something else. What the other tools are doing, they are usually getting data from your Google Search Console. And that's why it's important to first look at your Google Search Console reports. And you can see whether the position for a certain keyword is improving or not. Whether the CTR for a certain uh, search query is improving on, or not. And then you can see whether you're doing a good job or whether you should be improving something. If you want more digital marketing tips, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's the button below.